a New Jersey charter school abruptly announcing plans to shut down in two weeks. And this has left many parents scrambling as they try to figure out now what to do with their kids for the summer and the fall. All right, Teresa Priello live in Newark with more on what's going on and how parents are responding. Teresa. Yes, yeah, Stephen Laurie, parents are understandably shocked and really confused. The first indication that they got that there was a problem with University Heights Charter School came by way of an email today around noon that the school was shutting down at the end of the month. It's the end of an era for University Heights Charter School in Newark. Its charter has been revoked. News so fresh they haven't had the chance to remove the enrollment banners off the front gate. We received a notice from the New Jersey Department of Education on June 1st in the evening via email that our charter for our school is being revoked and this would lead to the closure of the school on June 30th of this year. That leaves 27 days for families of 700 students and 120 staff members to find new schools and new jobs for next year, not to mention summer camp and summer school. This is my first time hearing about any of it. I'm mad. I'm upset because I want my son to stay here for a long time. I love University High Charter School. If they could be open, I would love for them to stay open. The question is why? What would make the state pull the charter from a school that's been a much needed resource for nearly 20 years? 95% of the families are reliant on free lunch. No indication of concern for the next year. Our school, as I mentioned, we are a school that we have some uh, remedies that we need to make, and that's the reason why we, our entire team, were brought on to make that transformation. Shocking, but, you know, uh, we was already about to put them in a uh, different school anyway. The head of the school says the state did a walkthrough and seemed pleased with what they found. The next correspondence came this week, shutting down the school. One of the reasons that the state it was test scores from three years ago were utilized, state test scores. The state test has not been offered for two years because of the pandemic. This is the first year that the state test was offered, and our students just finished taking it last week. The vast majority of students are likely to go into the traditional Newark public school system. The superintendent says they can meet the need. We are going to do everything in our powers to reassure them that uh, selections of schools and the process moving forward is something that we can control. Now, we reached out to the state to try to gain some sort of clarity as to what led them to this decision, but they didn't get back to us. That's the latest from Newark tonight. Steve, back to you.